Hello and welcome back to CCSP Certified Channel. Today I am going to cover GDPR, a European privacy law and that is part of the important laws and standard topic that we started last week. So if you are new to my channel, I would like to inform that I have delivered over 30 videos uh, varies from topic 1 to 4, IAM, encryption, uh, cloud characteristics and risk in the cloud. Topic 5 I started and this is lecture 2 of the same. So revise those videos if you are preparing for the CCSP exam. And uh, many students ask me what is my reason or focus for this video series. So I would like to cover the high probability exam topics in this video series. Also difficult exam, exam concepts because softness of concept is very important to clear any of the IC square exam, especially CCSP. Also, I cover questions from various sources. One important source, source is my exam candidates feedback that is memory based because I do conduct classes also. Apart from this, I refer CCSP question bank and some sample question banks to prepare the question set. And I add some questions in this video series also. And I, I like to the point discussion because it is for working professional, time is limited. I will try to use my 14 years of industry experience, CCSP exam learnings and other cloud certifications, knowledge to make things simple and easy for you. My goal is to help you get further faster in your CCSP exam preparation. So a quick overview on the uh, next page I'm starting. Few candidates ask me whether YouTube study is sufficient. Yes, you, YouTube study is free and sufficient. But in case you want comprehensive studies, you may join regular batches or, the, or purchase self-paced classroom recordings. The next page I'm starting in November month from 15th of November onward. It will be 4 days a week, morning 8 a.m. to 9.15 a.m. IST. It is for working professional. I share the classroom recordings also. And I have a 100% success ratio so far. You may refer my LinkedIn profile that is part of this video descriptions to see the feedback of my candidates. I will use proven learning methods. Those has worked for me and my candidates so far to accelerate your learning in this video, in this uh, batches. So either go with the batch uh, classroom. In case you cannot join regular classes, you may go with the self-paced classroom recordings at the nominal price. I will share not only recordings, but the content PPT and my uh, uh, my guidance also to you. If you are interested, write me at the CCSP certified at the gmail.com or WhatsApp me on this number plus nine one eight three seven double zero eight one zero six four. Before we start topic, we quickly discuss the peace of mind promotional activities. That is a very important activities promotional activities by IC Squares. Almost every month they give new offers. And in this offer, it is a more a buy one get one offer. If you purchase this offer, if you don't get qualified, you have a second attempt, free second attempt. Like this time, if you purchase by 31st August, you may write first attempt by 31st, 30th of September. In case you don't get qualified, you do have a free second attempt by November 15. Sometimes they charge uh, extra fees like $199 this time they are charging. Sometimes they don't charge it. So check the offers which are relevant to you, but always go with this buy one get one or peace of mind activities because it gives you ease and relaxation in the exam. Now we quickly discuss the uh, concept we will cover in this video series, video lecture. First is borderless computing. Second is EU GDPR. And third one is key principles and responsibilities of the EU GDPR. So the borderless computing. So we have seen this cloud computing result in globalized service widely accessible with no perceived borders. We have seen this, your data can be reside in any location, auto scaling can happen to other reason and it is a globalized service, the cloud is. Hence, it introduced multiple legal challenges of which the security professional, implementer, architect or practitioners need to be aware. So what are the legal challenges because of this borderless computing should be aware Many countries has their own legal laws and data residing there is attract some conditions or some jurisdictions. Those you need to be aware. 
and primary challenges created by existence of conflicting laws, legal requirements or laws, coupled with the inability to apply laws, local laws to the global technology offerings. So, uh, like uh, uh, human rights or others, global laws, there is no privacy laws, global laws available right now. So, each country has the, their own local laws, but the, the company is offering or working as a global company and has a global presence. So, local laws and there is a conflict between the local laws and the global laws and how this being handled, it is also a challenge. And here the doctrine of purple laws uh, works. It it mentioned that if there is a conflict, doctrine of the proper laws refers how jurisdictions disputes are settled in case of the conflict between the local laws and the global laws or the global offerings. So there are few privacy laws we'll cover in this video series. Uh, the video first one is the European Union GDPR that we'll cover in this video. We will see the California CC. PA, Pipara from Canada, Brazil recently, couple of years before they implemented LGPD, and there's some US related laws, laws also that th those are important for exam perspectives. And we will not go in inside in deep uh, of all these laws because exam does not expect us to be expert on these laws. They want us to be having a thousand feet above view of these laws and important points of these laws. So today we'll cover the GDPR. There is one sil silver pl uh, plated doct doctrine that is not rele relevant to this lecture, but I have added it because of this doctrine of the proper law. So, what is silver plated doctrine say that it allows law enforcement ent ent entities to use material presented uh, voluntarily by the owner as evidence in prosecutions of crime without a warrant or the court order. So, law enforcement agencies like CBI, ED, they can use the material presented voluntary by the owners as evidence and in the prosecution of the crimes. So this is known as a silver plate doctrine. Now we come to the EU, EU privacy law GDPR. There is very important topic. Exam may have three to four questions from this topic and uh, it is very, uh, very interesting topic and very scoring topic in the exam of the CCSP exam. So you might have read this news couple of months before European and the Irish regulator has ordered Facebook owner Meta to pay fine of 1.2 billion euros for violating the GDPR with transfer of personal data to United States. You might have read this news and some of the memes on the, um, uh, the social networking site also. It is the largest GDPR fine ever. So what is it? We cover this and it is very important not only for exam perspectives but for the corporate life, if you are in the cloud security, you understand what is the implication of not understanding a proper laws or not handling the proper uh, European data. So what is GDPR? GDPR stands for General Data Protection Regulation. It is a comprehensive and far-reaching privacy regulations that affects the way organization handle personal data of European Union citizens. Far-reaching is a beyond boundaries of European Union it is applicable globally and to handle the personal data of European Union citizens. And uh, organizations from uh, OECD, it was initially OECD who has a privacy and security guideline which is being ad adopted by EU and it became EU directives, European U Union directives. Later 2018 onward, uh, it converts to GDPR. So when it is a directive, European Union gave the directive to each countries to form their own laws. But uh, post 2018 onward, it became a laws of the European Union whole GDPR. And every country in the European Union is liable to follow this law, GDPR laws. And GDPR fines for violating personal privacy can massive at 20 million euros or 4% of the global revenues. It has two category, not severe and severe crime. For not severe crime, a yeah, less severe crime, it is 10 million and 2%. But most severe crimes, personal data uh, privacy breach, it can be 20 million euros, a very huge amount. And 4% and which is whatever is greater. If it is small company, 4% of the global revenue will be very less. In that case, they need to pay 20 million euros, up to 20 million euros. Same like Facebook paid 1.2 million euros 
recently being asked to pay 1.2 million euros there is one more important part is organization must report a breach within 72 hours to the data protection officer in their region and in some cases must also notify individuals whose data was exposed but the 72 hours mandatory reporting is to the dpo is part of the gdpr mandatory requirement if that is not being followed a fine may be imposed up to 20 million euros or 4 percent of the global revenues to the organizations now sometime it is very conflicting and very much not clear who should pay the fine if there is if the error is not mine if the uh, problem is other end and uh, ccsp asks one or two questions on that line only so we cover what are the three roles defined in the gdpr so gdpr talk about the three roles data controller data processor and subject so data controllers determine the purpose and mean of processing personal data so data controllers collect the data and decide what is the purpose and mean of processing this data data processor like csp is a body responsible for process process of the data on behalf of controllers so they are not uh, have authority to take any decisions that they, they process the data on behalf of the controller and subject whose data is being taken so they have the rights to access re certification and deletion and need to give explicit consent before data being collected of the subject facebook is facing this issue because of they are collecting the data without the subject consent and sending data outside the european border and who is responsible in case in such situation comes the data control is ultimately responsible responsible to adhere to gdpr so one or two questions being constructed by ccsp exam they give a scenarios and they do they give the problems or the uh, mistakes at the contractor level or some vendor level or subcontract level or processor level but ultimately what who uh, the controller is responsible even the mistake is not of the controller this is what the laws define so there are few key principles and rights we'll discuss those are not required to remember but just quickly we discuss what seven guideline guiding principle of the gdprs are data minimization that minimum data should be collected from the subject there should be accuracy means proper accurate data accurate phone number aadhaar number personal data should be accurate and should be collected accurate data there should be purpose limitation they should be purpose defined if you're collecting data for providing loan those many documents are need to be collected same way if you are providing uh, collecting data for issuing a sim card only aadhar card or the required data is uh, collect need to be collected don't collect beyond the purpose defined they should be lawful fair and transparent mechanisms to be followed to collecting the data there should be store limitation even though you have collected you should not store everything you only store the data like you don't store the other number you don't store the date of birth until unless you don't need it there should be intricate and confidentiality measurement for the data and ultimately accountability if you read the accountability the controller shall be responsible if you see the data controller is responsible for and able to demonstrate compliance with the gdpr principles the ultimately responsibility lies with the controller it is clearly mentioned in the laws also some rights are given to the subjects those are eight rights mentioned here those are not very important to remember except the right to erase or right to be forgotten so there is no separate right to be forgotten written in the privacy laws they have mentioned right to erase and is very important laws because it was not there previously in the OSIT. When the OSIT it taken the um, data, there was no right to forgotten, but here the right to forgotten is there. Apart from this, there should be proper information to be given, proper consent to be collected, and the, they should give have a, options to modify the data and they should have a right to forgot also. All these rights to given to the subject. Now, if any entity locate outside the European Union, can they move data outside the European Union or not? Can the data center be part of the uh, location outside the European or not? We'll discuss here. So what GDPR? GDPR prohibits entity with a country that has no national wide privacy law. If there is no national wide privacy law, GDPR prohibits uh, uh, entity with a, uh, with a country and for uh, generating and processing privacy data belonging to U European citizens entities can be allowed to do so if they are follow following conditions one question comes from these three conditions 
in which condition a, con a country is allowed to process or gather the data of the uh, European citizens. First, if they have any national uh, wide laws available that comply with the European Union's laws. Second, if they create a contractual language that complies with the EU laws and has that language approved by the EU country, each, each EU country from which the entity wishes to gather the citizen data. If I want to collect the data from uh, from UK, I have to get approval from the UK uh, in that contract language that we create. The third one is entity voluntarily subscribe to the own national privacy shield program. So what is this national privacy shield program? We'll discuss in the next video lecture when we'll discuss the European uh, Union uh, and the US uh, collaborations because US does not have a national wide privacy law. USA is still there is no national wide privacy law. They do have a, some local laws and uh, because of this the third condition is applicable to them. They are part of the one privacy shield program. We will discuss when we will discuss about the USA laws. So few questions will cover this for the theory part from European Union. This is good enough to give exam question answers and uh, we cover five questions from that topic. So first one is administrative penalties for violating the GDPR can range up to so US uh, 1 lakh or five lakh euros or C option C and option D. So, so you should be con able to convert 20 billion euros. If you convert it will be option C 20 crore euros is answer. Which is the following countries does not have a federal privacy law that complies with the European Union GDPR regulations. So if such question comes you always search for the USA because you don't remember what are companies has a laws applicable to the EU. So then they don't expect you to remember everything but they expect you that at least you know that USA does not have that law. So Israel has Australia has Argentina Argentina has a law but USA does not USA does not have so we'll go with the USA options in exam also you expect to understand that USA does not have that law that is applicable previously it was Brazil also but Brazil has enacted a law couple of years before you are a security director of your online retailer in Belgium in February 29 a audit reveals that your company may have been responsible for exposing personal data belonging to some of your customers over previous month which law is applicable in this instance so uh, uh, Belgium is part of European Union and GDPR applicable that is straightforward answer but again you have to be aware about some uh, what are the countries part of the EU they don't expect you that you remember everything but at least some of the important countries you remember those are part of uh, e uh, EU so that are also expectation from you when you prepare for GDPR the next question second last one you are the security manager of a small American tech firm and investigate an incident. Upon an analysis, you determine that one of your employees was stealing proprietor material and stealing it to the competitor. You inform law enforcement and turn over the forensic data with which you determine the source and nature of the theft. So you proactively uh, reach to the law enforcement agency and provide the data. The prosecutor can use this material you deliver because of. So we have seen this uh, just when we were discussing about the borderless computing, the doctrine of the proper law and the silver platter doctrine. So it is an example of the silver platter doctrine that uh, law enforcement agencies can use the data which is being sh uh, shared by the owner to prosecute a crime. The last question, this is a question which I have seen my exam, not very uh, exactly same language but almost similar language I have constructed for you. So as a chief security officer of an organization utilizing cloud services to overseas your SaaS application for EU clients, a recent data breach or originating from the CSP has occurred. So CSP is responsible for a uh, data breach. However, the CSP notify you about a breach a week after its occurrence. So CSP came across the incident, but they did not inform you till a week. They used that week to uh, do some investigation or do some analysis and because of this a violation of the GDPR 72 hours reporting has happened. In this scenario indicate the party that will be held responsible in case of the penalties imposed. If there is a penalty imposed by the GDPR who will be responsible? Will it be organization only? Will it be CSP only? It will be shared between the CSP and organizations 
or GDPR does not have any uh, clear guide, uh, guidance in these scenarios. So we have seen this though it is not your mistake, you are responsible and the reason is that uh, why you are made responsible for this, you have not choose the right partners, it is your responsibilities and in case you choose a wrong partner, you should have a strong uh, contract language that defined and able to pass the penalties from uh, you to uh, CSP if you are not holding doing this one you will be responsible to pay the uh, penalties imposed by the uh, GDPR authorities so that's for today in next lecture we'll cover other laws important laws of Europeans and other countries related to the privacy and security hope you might have find this channel uh, this videos useful if it's Please like my channel, subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching this video.